Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I'm your host, the House Code Gamer. The omens are painful, and we know what to expect. Starfleet hasn't heard from Deep Space Station K-13 in a while. It's in a tactically sensitive part of the Quadrant, and the brass is getting concerned. Get out there, find out what you can, and render assistance if needed. And hey, be careful, okay? This could go sideways, fast. Still using the Miranda. Because why not? Hmm. You know, I'm quite happy about the legendary Miranda. Not exactly the most tactically focused ship in the fleet, but still better than nothing. Though, I would have exchanged those hangar bays for Miracle Worker capability. We've arrived near Deep Space K-13, Captain. This is odd. I'm not picking up any comm traffic. No signals, nothing at all, from K-13 or the other ships in system. Sensors aren't detecting enemy vessels or warp signatures. No signs of combat, either. This is... peculiar. I'm not sure what to make of it. Ah, the last sh T1 ship that hasn't gotten a Tier 6 counterpart yet. The Pioneer. Kinda sad that this hasn't gotten what it deserves. Captain, the other ships are raising shields and charging weapons. Let my shuttles handle it. Unless they actually need my help. All ships disabled, Captain. Huh. <sighs> Captain, those were the Starfleet ships assigned to patrol this sector. I don't think that was a war game or training sim. Their weapons were at full power. Stay away! They'll... they're taking control! Don't come near us! They'll take you to... Ah, this station came from... the station... Ah. Message from Starfleet Command, Captain. We're to investigate the situation immediately. No signs of combat on board the station, Captain. No hostile life form readings either. Everything's quiet. Sensors are picking up a number of life signs over there, but I'm not reading any unusual activity. All of the station systems seem to be functioning normally. Think we should beam over and have a look around? don't like this. No one's at their duty stations. Not even the transporter operator. Station's not on alert. What's happening? Tricorder's picking up a life sign nearby. Looks like they're in sick bay just across the hall. Phase pistol. I really like this thing. Wait a minute, Scarvin, why don't you have shields? Oh. Right, my TOS recruit. I forgot to give him shields. That's my bad. Those blast things on the wall are from phaser fire. There was a fight here. But with whom? No sign of Klingon or Romulan weapon fire. Just Federation. The lights have all been dimmed, but it looks like sick is still operation. Over to the right. Captain, I think I saw motion in that room to the left. Stop where you are and turn about slowly. I need to determine if you are infected. Neural parasites. A life form last encountered by the crew of the Enterprise at Deneva Colony. Those possessed by the creatures tend to engage in hostilities with the uninfected. The better to render them fit for infestation. 
to left. Scan show a slightly... Oops. Boy. Alright, since I had to go through all that again. Stop neural parasites. To met. And while you have not engaged in hostilities thus far, I have seen infected employ false passivity in order to lure unwary prey. A tricorder scan of your adrenaline levels should verify your status. Scans show a slightly elevated level of adrenaline, though nowhere near that of an infected life form. Thank you for your patience. One can never be too cautious where these parasites are concerned. They are a life form that propagates by infiltrating the nervous system of a host creature. Through this neural link, they can compel their host to obey their bidding. They can also inflict extreme pain upon the host at will, and do so to discourage attempts at resistance. While effective, this punishment can lead to permanent neurological damage or death. At this time, most of the station personnel have become infected. While there is a possibility of uninfected survivors, I must warn that it is remote. According to Starfleet data files, the parasites can be safely destroyed by exposure to high-intensity ultraviolet light. My attempts at reconfiguring the station's lighting thus far have been unsuccessful. I am a physician, not a habitat engineer. As a precaution, I have developed a serum that can render a person toxic to the creatures. However, medical supplies here are limited. I have enough serum to inoculate your landing party and one other person. Now there's a voice I wasn't expecting. I take it you heard my distress call then. Well, in case you haven't noticed, the station's been overrun by neural parasites. The weed devils are back with a vengeance. Ah, uh, I'm afraid not. I'm in the auxiliary control room, down on the engineering deck. The place is filthy with parasites, so you'll understand if I don't go out for a wee jaunt. I have secured a small amount of security gear. It may give you another edge against the parasites. The armor is useless, so... If we pass through the these crew members, they're all infected by the parasites. Be careful. The creatures continue to be resistant to tricorder scans, sir. It may be... fascinating. I'm detecting an unusually high level of tachyons nearby. Based on these readings, it is possible that a temporal event has occurred on this station within the last 4.2 hours. <laughs> I actually kind of enjoyed using the phase pistol as a grenade. Whoa! <laughs> I suppose I really don't need shields for this particular part. The auxiliary control station is down the hall to our right. I'm reading a single human life form within the room. The bio signs match those of Commander Scott in the Starfleet Medical Database. Hi there. It's good to see a friendly face. Ah, uh, there you are. I was beginning to get a bit concerned. Thought you might have been taken by those little beasties. I'll just lock the door so none of them can get in while we discuss our next course of action. Now that you're here, we've some work to do. The way I see it, we need to get to main engineering and turn on the station's ultraviolet lighting. That'll sort them nasty buggers out properly. While I cannot attest to the ability of UV light to sort Denovan parasites, it will initiate a complete molecular breakdown within all parasites exposed to it. Aye, she's a Vulcan, all right. I was trying to override the lighting controls from here. It looks like someone sabotaged several duotronic relays. We have to repair them if we're going to have any chance of saving the station. Before we go, grab yourself a kit from the crate there. It might come in handy. We better get a move on. The parasites aren't ones to loiter about. Uh, 
Aye, this is one of the broken relays, right here. That one was easy. Just a few more to go. All right, there are several ways through the engineering section here. Keep in mind that the parasites tend to stay in dark corners. If you want to avoid them, do your best to stay in the lit areas. That's not going to be very possible. The only way to get out, get through here is... But remember, well, the parasites like the dark. We devils that they are. I'll have this fixed up straight away. Well, you're going to have to pass through the dark sections. That takes care of that. No trouble at all. I'd feel sorry for them, but... Uh, our odds of success are greatest if we remain in well-lit areas. Yeah, our odds of success, unfortunately, have nothing to do with getting through the l through lit areas. We're gonna have to pass through dark lit places. Now this may be a bit tricky. Just a wee bit longer. There we are now. Ah, uh, this one just needs new fuses. There we are. Good as new. I wonder why they're called Denevin. <laughs> Neuroparasites. They aren't native to Denim 4. Oh, Deneva 4. We get the idea. Ah, uh, uh, it looks like someone has overridden the command codes. You best get to the command center and see what you can do from there. I'll stay here, barricade the door, and keep trying to get those UV lights going. Look, who are those soldiers? They're definitely not stopping. Get the lights while the commander's down. Oops. Nice to know the situation's finally been reversed. Instead of me being scaled to level 5 or 6 in this case, and everything else being 65. Parasites! They're dying! All of them! Salvage what you can, and send a squad to kill the Federation vermin! <laughs> At least the cutscene's better. Then again, as stated. At least it gets better. We need to talk. Actually, the name's Daniels. This may be a little difficult to absorb, but recent events may make it more plausible. I'm actually from the future. I can't tell you how far. Just that it's a future worth protecting. That's why I'm here now. The aliens we're fighting are called the Nakul, and they're waging a temporal cold war with us. They're trying to change the timeline here in order to disrupt the future. Understand that I follow a temporal version of the Prime Directive. There's only so much I can reveal to you. Trust that we're doing the right thing here. Time's a factor. We need to stop the Nakul from obtaining the neural parasites. The Nakul ship that brought these invaders is now fighting the USS Ptolemy. Someone must have sent a distress call. 
Unfortunately, Ptolemy is no match for the Nakul. Neither is your ship, at least not alone. We should eliminate the parasites on the ships you fought earlier. Those crews will help you once their minds are their own again. It's risky, but it's our best shot here. We can return to the ship on your orders. The Ptolemy is holding the Nakul off while we rescue the other ships, but they won't last long. K-13 is hailing us, Captain. I'm transferring command codes to you now. Use them to remotely access the computer on those disabled ships and emit an ultraviolet flash inside. This is Captain Seralt of the Ptolemy. We have engaged the enemy ship, but we are outmatched. Please restore those ships and join the fight quickly. That did it, Captain. Looks like everyone's coming around. The parasites are gone. This is Captain Doherty of the USS Myrmidon. What... what happened? What's going on? Parasites? What... Okay, sorry. We're right behind you, Captain. Lead the way. <laughs> I see they got rid of the lines. Secondly. Of course, that destroyer doesn't have a chance in hell. Oh, it died the same way a Romulan jet does. That's problematic. Fine work, Captain. You sent those devils back to wherever they came from. Uh, we do have a wee problem, however. The burst I sent, when combined with the power source, created a feedback pulse. The feedback is creating some kind of spatial anomaly, which is beginning to pull the station in. We need to evacuate immediately. Got here. The portal's collapsing. We're in for a right bumpy ride. Everyone's aboard. Get us clear before that portal blows. There she goes. I don't think anyone's ever seen a station do that. K-13 was pulled into the vortex. I picked up a few distress signals from inside the station. Perhaps not. After all, it was a temporal vortex. They may well survive in another time. Oh, we'll find that out very soon. Well then, it's been quite a day, hasn't it? Neural parasites, time traveling readers. Why, things will seem almost normal once I'm back on the Enterprise. Speaking of, I'm sure one of the ships here can give me a lift back to her now that they're parasite-free. If Starfleet Command gives you any grief on this, remind them that lives are more valuable than equipment. And you saved a lot of lives today. I apologize for springing all of this on you at the last minute. And I'll explain more as soon as I can. For now, I can tell you that history is unfolding as it should, and that was not the end of K-13. You're building a fine tradition of making the right decisions in crisis situations. In the meantime, don't talk to anyone about the Nakul or their time travel. We can't risk any further corruption of the timeline. System scan. I'm beginning to slowly lose patience. Mostly because I have to deal with Daniels. That's never a good thing. Let me get this straight. K-13, an entire space station just disappeared into some type of spatial anomaly? <laughs> I thought some of Kirk's after-action reports were a little out there. Starfleet Command won't be pleased with the loss of K-13, or the people that were still on board. But they'll be happy to hear about the lives you did save. Good work out there. Keep it up. How's Code Gaming signing off?